and today I'm going to be making a complete bodysuit, styling a wig, and doing a makeup look for one of my favorite heroes of all time, and that is All Might. It filled my heart with so much joy to do a gender bent version of All Might. And you know what else is exciting? This is a collaboration with Natasha Rose. Natasha Rose is a crafty YouTuber. She makes costumes, cosplay, all kinds of stuff, and she came up with this awesome idea to upgrade an inexpensive online costume. Natasha is doing her own heroic costume upgrade. She is going to be Wonder Woman. Please check it out. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I got one of those awesome stretchy My Hero Academia suits that you can get pretty much anywhere. I got this one from Amazon. So if you're interested in making your own muscle suit of your own, whether it's to wear under a stretchy suit like this, or if it's for your own costume, then keep on watching. Here are my garments that I'm gonna be using for the base of my muscle suit. I just got these at my local thrift store. I washed them, of course, and now I'm ready to start editing them. This is a larger nude color shirt that I'm gonna have to take in a little bit before I get started adding things onto it. And here are some black leggings I picked up. And on top of that, I'm gonna be adding a bunch of extra stuff on there. Both garments are fairly thin, but also really stretchy, which is great. So first things first, I am going to take in my shirt right here, and then we can continue. So here's what the shirt looks like now that it has been taken in. It looks a lot different, it fits a lot better. And now I'm gonna start making patterns to fit onto the top and onto the bottom. How I'm doing this is I'm making patterns for every muscle I want to make for the muscle suit. Also, just like making an armored costume or making patterns for a fabric costume or anything like that, you only have to make one set of every muscle, which is nice. And also as I'm sketching, I'm gonna be labeling each muscle. And I just like labeling things as I go because I hate trying to figure out my cryptic pattern puzzles later <laughs> when I don't label things because I've definitely been guilty of that in the past. So that's just, you know, a little reminder for you <laughs> when you're doing this yourself. By the way, for drawing a lot of my muscles, I am using Paige Hathaway as a reference. And I chose Paige as a reference because for some reason when I started thinking of like a female All Might, she totally came to mind. And now that I have all of these guys sketched out, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them out. So now I'm gonna take all of these patterns that I just cut out and trace them onto this two inch furniture foam. The idea is to kind of shave down a lot of this foam on the edges just to kind of make it look more toned and realistic. So without further ado, I am gonna go ahead and trace all of my pattern pieces onto my foam. How do you like this? Do you think this would make a good cat bed? Aww. <laughs> I may have to make you a bed filled with this stuff, Solaire. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm just gonna keep tracing on this foam until I just absolutely have to move him. Next up, I'm gonna cut all these little pieces out. I would do it with scissors, but my scissors are still packed away, and I don't exactly know where they are right at this moment, so I'm gonna use a crack knife, which should work just fine as well. Now I'm gonna start rounding them into like a more natural, kind of organic, muscly shape. So I'm gonna be using my Fordham rotary tool, and I'm gonna be smoothing down all the edges. Holy it turns out that my brilliant idea of trying to use a rotary tool on this stuff was not such a good idea because the tools I had gripped it so well and because the tool is rotating it just caught this stuff and flung it into outer space. So instead I'm going to be carefully carving this stuff with a very sharp utility knife. Ah, that's already working so much better. <laughs> All I needed was the right tool, but don't worry, I will be using that rotary tool for so much foam projects in the future. I'm so excited. I can't wait to break it in. So I just remembered that I have this like turkey cutter that I used on an XPS foam project. And I'm gonna see if it works on this. It may make the process a lot faster, we'll see. 
Okay, so it's working about the same as the knife is, only my edges are a lot smoother. So I'll try using this for some of the bigger pieces and see if I can't get better at it. So I just got done cutting out all my little muscle pieces. You can see this box is filled with them. And I'm just gonna be gluing all the corresponding pieces onto the areas that they need to go, like biceps on biceps, torso parts on torso parts, etc. So for gluing everything on, I'm gonna be using this liquid stitch glue. It's pretty much just like a fabric glue and we'll see how well this works. So liquid stitch, it's awesome, but it takes a while to dry. So just to kind of have everything set in place, I'm using just a little dab of hot glue at first, just so I kind of have all my muscles mapped out and kind of stuck in place. And then I can go around the edges with the liquid stitch just to really tack everything down. But this kind of just helps speed up the process and helps me map out where I want all the muscles first before I start permanently tacking everything down. All right, so here is my muscle suit all together. This is what it looks like so far. And earlier I showed you those black knitted leggings that I was gonna use but I actually have these brown leggings that I used for my bean costume, and I think they're gonna work a lot better. Just because they're a lot thinner, they're gonna be a lot cooler, they're stretchy, and they don't have like that knit pattern on them. Now, just like I did with my shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and glue all my little foam bits onto these leggings. So now that I have everything glued on here, I'm kind of seeing that some of these curves are just a little bit too dramatic. So I'm just using my scissors and very carefully going around some of these edges and just taking off some material is needed. Now it's time to cut some butt. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. I just knew I'd never have the opportunity to say that again. All right, here is what the bottom half looks like now that the pieces are a little bit more sculpted. And as you can tell, I ended up shaving off a lot of material because after I tried it on, the butt and the legs, they looked ridiculous. So I took off a lot of material from pretty much every piece. Now that my bodysuit is sitting aside and drying, I'm gonna start styling the wig. I got this yellow synthetic lace front on Amazon. I love it, I think it's really cute. To style it, I'm making two sections of hair in the front of the wig to create all my signature hair antennas. I'm using some got to be styling gel and working it through the fibers of each spike and molding the shape I want with my fingers. Now using a hair dryer, I'm gonna dry the gel so it can stay in place. And once I have my spiky bits, I can use my scissors to cut in some extra texture. To add some volume in the back, I'm teasing some sections of hair and then combing the fibers over to help it look more even. Then I can spritz on some hairspray and ta-da, the wig is ready to wear. As far as the makeup goes, I'm going for the more like dramatic anime kind of look. And I'm using some black eyeliner and just sketching it on my face using a brush. I'm using All Might references and stills from the anime as my reference for applying the makeup. I just did a contoured makeup look as the base to apply the eyeliner over. The eyeliner is a black brush on eyeliner from NYX, but you can use pretty much any eyeliner. I just like the control I'm getting with this one. To help my eyebrows match my wig and just to help them pop a little bit more, I'm applying light concealer over them and then adding some yellow eyeshadow on top of it. And here's what it looks like all together. Oh my, oh my goodness! All Might and Wonder Woman would be an amazing team. Just saying. And of course, I have to thank my wonderful patrons. Thank you all so much for being here. You make videos like this possible. 
Bonehouse FX showed me their Gamora sword that they made for their daughter for Halloween. You did a great job. Thank you so much for showing me. Moth Child CC showed me their Bloodborne costume that they put together from the tip of the staff all the way down to the boots. Everything is just so on point. Everything is so nicely put together. I love all the details and I love your hair too. It just like pulls everything together. Becca Dex cosplay showed me their amazing voodoo witch costume. It's like an original design. She said it was inspired by lightning cosplay, which I love their work too. Amazing. You look great. I love the design and thank you so much for showing me. If you can't tell, I really love when you guys show me what you're making, whether it be a prop, costume, or otherwise. If it's something that you're proud of, I want to see it. My Twitter and Instagram are both the same, at Zombies Workshop, so I hope to see you guys over there and I can't wait to see what you're working on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button and go over to Natasha Rose's channel, click her subscribe button, comment on her video, give her lots of support. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is amazing. Thank you guys again and I'll see you again next time. Bye everyone!